Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn company page for your business. A professional, compelling and attractive company page that represents your business on LinkedIn. I'm also going to show you how to set up and optimize your LinkedIn company page and I'm going to share with you some useful free online tools that can help your LinkedIn company page stand out online. All right, before I dive over to my computer, if you're interested in learning more about digital strategies and online business tools, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when we upload new relevant and practical videos. All right, with that being said, let's jump over to my computer. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pop over to your computer and jump onto your LinkedIn personal profile. Now, hopefully you do have a personal profile, because this is where you can create and manage your LinkedIn company page. So the first thing I want to show you is where you can manage your company pages. As you can see, I've got a bunch here that I manage under my personal profile. So the first thing you want to do is to create your LinkedIn company page is to head over to work on your personal profile. Then you want to scroll down to create a company page. You want to click there and then it's going to take you to this page. Now you have a choice between small business, you know, fewer than 200 employees, medium to large, you want a showcase page, which is subcategories of your company page, education and institution. So we're going to choose small business. Now the first thing you want to do is create your page identity. So the name of your business you want to pop in here. So for an example, I'm just going to type in my company NZ as the example business we're going to talk about today just to fill out all this information to show you how to create the page then keep the URL the same as your company name then you want to pop in your website once you've done that head down to company details and find the industry that you operate in so for us we're going to operate in building materials remember this is just an example but for this tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to choose building materials then the size of your business so two to ten employees then your company type. Are you a public company, self-employed, not-for-profit? We're going to go public company. Click there. Then here you want to upload your profile details, so your profile picture. Remember you want it to be 300 by 300 in terms of this size. So I've already got a company NZ example profile picture that I'm going to upload here. However, what I'm going to show you is a quick tool called Canva.com. And what you can do is pop over to canva.com. It's a free design tool that allows you to quickly create graphics, designs, logos, posters, presentations. And if you pop down here, click 300 by 300, create new design. And that's going to take you to this page where you can upload your logo and you can put it to, you can create the same width um, as the LinkedIn profile recommends. So upload your picture, I've already done so, drag it out, make it the right size, then you can download it as PNG, preferably PNG because that's the highest quality image, 300 by 300, there you go, and download. And that's just a quick tool that you guys can use to quickly design, create content, um, and create kind of different dimensions so that it fits certain profiles, fits certain um, social media, and things like that. So here you go, so we've uploaded our profile, then you want to add your tagline, so I'm just going to write in the best building materials straight from, no, we get the best building materials made from pure New Zealand wood. There we go. All right, that's the tagline I'm going to chuck in there. As an example, you want to be, you want to create a compelling tagline. Obviously, it's going to be your company's tagline if you already have one. Then you want to click save. And there you go. Congratulations, you have created your company page. Now, this is where you can make edits, you can change details, you can update business information, and you can create posts. So the first thing we want to do here is create a cover image. Now, your cover image needs to be this recommended size. Again, you can use Canva for this. So Canva is fantastic because what you can do is pop in the dimensions down here like I showed you before, or you can type in LinkedIn. And it's going to pop up with the banner, and that's exactly what you need. So click there, and now Canva is going to produce a whole bunch of templates that you can use for free, and that you can customize the way that you like. So I'll quickly show you how you can kind of create your own template. As you can see, there's some amazing imagery and templates that you can use. 
everything's customizable. So Los Angeles, you know, your number, your website, you can completely customize the text. That's the fantastic thing about Canva. We use Canva on a daily basis because it's just such a fantastic tool for small businesses. And there you go, you can do all these edits and changes. If you want to learn more about Canva, I'll pop up a link in the top and you can learn how you can use Canva to create all kinds of designs. So here we go, I've already printed and created a company NZ cover example. So I'm going to upload that now. There we go, then you can drag it into the right place. Now remember, for your company cover, you want to have your contact information, a call to action, maybe it's like contact us today for free consultation, and any other information that you want your visitors landing on this page, you want them to see. So once you've done that, click on your tagline. This is where you can add basically all your information again if you want to change or edit anything. So my tagline hasn't stayed, so I'm going to quickly just type in another tagline. Once you've done that, make sure you use as much of the space as you can. You can use up to 120 characters. Once you've done that, review the basic information. If that's all correct, then manage the information about the language. Maybe you have other languages that you speak in, um, other markets that you interact in. So feel free to update and add languages here about your personal profile. Now, here you want to head over to your buttons. So when we've done page info. Head over to buttons, here you can choose the button that you want. I'm going to click visit website because I want them to click on the visit website and check out more information and book online or give us a call through our website. So that's the call to action button I want. Then you want to click overview. Here you want to add your details, so your information about your company, um, any of the information you like. And you want to make sure you use the full 2000 characters, the most information you have the better, the more information you have the better, sorry. And there you go, then come down and edit the rest of your information, your website, phone number, industry. So building, yep, so that's all correct. We've already filled out this information. We, the year you are founded. And then you want to add up to 20 specialties. I recommend adding as many as possible. Make sure you can try and add up to 20 because that's going to allow you to have more exposure and it's going to show people all the specialties that you're involved in. Then you want to head to locations. Once you've jumped on two locations, click on add location. You can add multiple locations or just one. Now, once you've added all the locations, pop down, save it, and then head to hashtags. Now, this is an important section. This is where you want to add as many relevant hashtags that represent your business, you know, that are associated with your company LinkedIn page. So I'm going to go construction, construction projects, and then, hmm, what else? You can add your company name if you like. However, I'm going to add relevant categories. So I'm going to go building. There we go. So those are the three hashtags I'm going to associate, associate my page with. Then you want to go down to featured groups. Here you can add complementary businesses or groups that are somehow related to your business that you want to promote. If not, you can leave it blank and you can move on to the next step, which is just managing languages again. Now, if you're happy with that, you can click exit and there you go. Congratulations, you've finished your LinkedIn company page. You've created your LinkedIn company page. Now, if you want to see what it looks like as a member or a visitor landing on your LinkedIn page, head over to view as member. And this is what people are going to see when they land on your LinkedIn page. They're going to see your cover, they're going to see your profile, they're going to see your tagline, and they're going to be able to see all this information. You're going to be see, see the home information about us, the jobs that you have, the people involved in your organization. You can also see the ads that they're running. So if you pop back to view as admin, here you go. This is the admin view. This is where you can edit all your information. You can see your dashboard. You can see the visitors. You can see... Um, the hashtags that are similar to yours. You can see how many followers you've got, impressions on your posts, and this is where you can create posts using photos, videos, or blogs, or articles from your website. Then if you go to admin tools, basically this is where you can manage your URL, you can post jobs, you can create a showcase page. Then if we move along here, you've got your visitors, updates, followers, so just basic analytics. Then you have your activity. So this is where you can see the activity on your post. So reactions, shares, comments, all. And I'm going to show you how to create a post in a moment. 
then content that's related to your LinkedIn company page. Then back to your page. So as you can see, call to action buttons. Now here, I'm gonna show you how to create a post. So click here, then all you need to do is, you know, for us, we're going to welcome people to our page because this is the first time we've created a LinkedIn company page. So we wanna welcome visitors when they land here with a offer. So get in touch with us today, 10% off building supplies. Now, this is a fantastic cool tool, fantastic tool called Grammarly. Now, basically it's a, in the word, you know, it is, it's grammar. So it helps you with your grammar when you're typing on social media, when you're typing on any website or platform. So if you head over to Grammarly, click Grammarly, it's, it's a browser plugin, and then you can add it to Chrome if you're using Chrome. Download it and it's fantastic when you're writing emails, when you're writing blog posts or social media content or anything. Grammarly is there to help you with your spelling and to correct words that are wrong. So Grammarly is fantastic for grammatical um, corrections. Then I want to add an image, so I'm going to add my company profile because, you know, this is the first time we're posting. Then you can add an alt text. This is just going to help um, search engines and help people find your images online so I'm gonna add that then I'm happy with that you can also add hashtags relevant hashtags that like we talked about before so I'm gonna go hashtag building um, building construction what else hashtag the company NZ which is the name of my company then hashtag New Zealand which is the location that we operate in I'm happy with that um, you can choose to post that to anyone or a target audience so for us we're gonna go anyone because we want exposure on LinkedIn and then we're gonna go post and there you have it you've created your LinkedIn company page and you've created your first post there you have it that's everything you need to know to create your LinkedIn company page congratulations you're now ready to start promoting your LinkedIn company page and there you have it guys, you now know how to create a LinkedIn company page for your business that's professional, engaging and attractive. Now if you got value out of this video, make sure you leave a comment down below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and we will see you in the next video.